Wednesday marked the opening day for this year's 2035 e-mobility Taiwan Expo with domestic car makers and component suppliers showing off their latest technologies. One of the show stoppers was an electric bus designed and made in Taiwan featuring rapid charge technology and a long driving range. Eyeing the Japanese market, electric vehicles producers are also offering right-hand drive models. Let's go in for a closer look. Pioneering tech and aesthetics, the participants at this year's 2035 e-mobility Taiwan Expo are showing off their latest advancements. Take for example this EV bus. A charge up from 10% to 90% takes just 15 minutes. It also has a striking appearance. Let me show you exactly what it looks like inside an electric bus. The whole bus is done up in wood tones and up above are custom-built video screens, setting it apart from the look of a traditional bus. They're good for long distance and all sorts of routes. And there's two models. One is a left-hand drive and the other has its steering wheel on the right for the Japanese market. The show is not just limited to electric buses. EV sedans and driverless tour buses are also a highlight of the expo. So on the front of city planning, many firms are focused on the design of the charging ports. They require additional space in parking lots, so that can be quite troublesome. We have rapid charges, a rapid charging method that makes charging up like filling up at a gas station. Also on display are motors, batteries and components from manufacturers showing off their most advanced technologies. Exhibitors stress that their products are DMIT, designed and made in Taiwan. Industry leaders hope that integrating electric buses with battery, motor and electric control systems and advanced driver assistance systems can take Taiwan's EV industry to the next level. Our motors have been in the race from the start. Delta Electronics, along with many other companies, have already entered EV supply chains, such as Tesla supply chain. The government will see what technologies were still lacking and launch investment projects in those areas. The vice premier touted Taiwan's prowess in EV parts and components, saying that many Taiwan firms are suppliers for leading EV firm Tesla. The government's Mobility and Harmony platform is further pushing Taiwan firms to make inroads into the EV industry, which is already selling more than 2 million vehicles a year around the world. 